In this video, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be replacing our alarm panel with an Amazon Fire tablet, and we're going to be putting this mount on the wall here so it looks completely professional. And what this will give us the ability to do is control not only our self-monitored alarm system through SmartThings, but it will also give us the ability to control our home and view our cameras. Hi, I'm Justin from Simply Smart, where we make smart home technology as easy as one, two, three. So if you're interested in smart home technology, consider subscribing for more content like this. Also check out the video description for the three simple steps to start building your ultimate smart home. So let's go ahead and remove our alarm panel here. And what we're going to be doing, I know we did a video on this not too long ago where I mounted a fire tablet on the wall. And what we did is we tapped into a light switch. In this case, is we're just going to be using this extension cable. And I'm going to mount this directly onto the wall without in a recessed outlet. I got my mount on Motifs Etc 3D prints over on Etsy, and I will leave a link in the video description. And if you use this code right here, SharpToolsJN09, you will get a discount on your order. So they have all kinds of stuff here for Fire 7s, iPads, Samsung Galaxies, and you can see that average review is five stars and all these happy customers down here. So it's a really high quality mount, um, works really well and very clean um, once it's complete. So definitely check out Motifs Etc 3D prints on Etsy before you buy your tablet mount. So we're just going to run this extension um, through the wall and then it's going to come out and then plug into a USB plug. And that's how the alarm system did it. It has a power wire that comes down. It comes out the side of the box at the bottom where the outlet is and then it plugged in at the bottom and it should work great without any electrical knowledge. All right, so the first thing we need to do is just remove this here. All right, so that is now removed and they just drilled it right into the drywall looks like, so that's not good. All right, this is the power wire that went to the original alarm system here. And what we need to do is just remove the cover at the bottom where the outlet is. And then we will be able to use this wire to pull our extension wire through. All right, so down here, I just need to take off this cover. And how they did it is it comes through the side of the box. So the wires go into the plastic box here, but this is um, coming in through the side. Um, so they've already done the hard part for us. All we need to do is use that wire at the top to pull our extension wire down. So we're just gonna take a little bit of tape here and we're just going to tape the end that we want to tape down to this wire. Make sure it's good and tight. We don't want it coming apart on the way down. And then what we need to do is just pull on the wire at the bottom lightly until we can work it all the way down. Hardest parts right at the bottom here. All right, and there we go. We got it through. Now we have one end at the bottom and one end at the top, and we can take this tape off. All right, so now what we need to do is mount our tablet mount on the wall. All right, so you want to have a level handy just so you can get this level. You don't want to mount it like that. So we're just going to run our power cord through here, and we just need to figure out where we want to put it. Obviously, we need to cover up the existing holes that were there. Um, that way, we don't have to do anything with those. All right, so I got the four holes marked here. And I'm just going to go ahead and remove this. And then we can just make these holes a little bit bigger with the screwdriver. Don't even need a drill. All right, so it did come with anchors and screws, the mount itself. Um, so we're going to go ahead and use those and just put them into these holes we just made. All right, so we got all of our anchors in. All right, now we just need to mount it with the screws provided. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to plug this USB part in here. And then I'm going to take some duct tape 
and tape it on because we don't want it falling off in the wall. All right, so now we got that in there like that. Just stuff a little bit of the extra here in. Plug in our tablet, and the tablet's going to fit right into the little holders on the left, right, and top. And now we can put our cover on. All right, there we go. So that's looking pretty good. Our battery is at 78%, but it's not charging. So what we need to do is figure out the bottom part here and finish that up. All right, so at the bottom, now we have our USB coming out. And let's figure out actually how long this is gonna have to be. Yeah, that should be fine. And we just need to put in our center screw and plug this in. And let's make sure my Echo can still plug in as well. There we go. So our Echo is plugged in as well. All right, so this is the final look. It looks super clean. And now we have a tablet on the wall instead of a dumb old alarm panel. All right, so now you can see that the tablet is charging. It's got a little lightning bolt in the battery. And now we can open the Fully Chaos browser. It's gonna open up our Sharp Tools. And then here you can create a custom security dashboard. Um, this is my master dashboard. It has like a lot of the stuff that's in my home already, um, but it also has my alarm system. So I can tap on that, and then to arm it, I need to type in a code. And once you type in the code, just tap the check mark. And now it's going to arm the alarm. And you heard the beep confirming that the alarm is now set. Same thing with disarming it. Type in the code, tap the check mark. And now the alarm is disarmed. And now um, we know that when you're going out the front door, you can look and see is the alarm on or off, and you can disarm it. You can also lock and unlock doors. So right now the front door is locked. If I tap that, now the front door is unlocked. And now what I have is the security stuff shows in red. So if something's unlocked or open, it's gonna show as red. And that lets us know is there's anything we need to pay attention to. Now when things are closed or locked, then we know that we don't need to worry about that because it will be black and it only shows the things in colors that are actually on. So right now we're in the foyer, that's the foyer light. Then I have the stairs light for a little bit of light behind us. So they're both on and it tells you the percentage as well. So as you can see, this is way more advanced than your alarm panel from your alarm company. This is just 100% customizable. You can add whatever you want to it using the SmartThings home monitor. You can really make it like a real alarm system and even better because you can have leak sensors and water shutoff valves and all kinds of things that would cost a fortune if you were paying for monitored service. So I hope you found that video helpful. If you did, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section. Also check out the other videos on the screen now, and I will see you in the next video.